First, you're going to want to check your electrolytic cell is working properly. Touch the electrodes together and it should light the bulb because a current is flowing. Now, place the anode and cathode into the salt solution. If you look closely at the base of the electrodes, you should see some bubbling. The chloride ions are being attracted towards the anode where they're losing electrons being oxidized, whilst the hydrogen ions are being attracted towards the cathode where they're gaining electrons and being reduced. If you collect the hydrogen and then place a lit splint above, you should hear a squeaky pop, which is a test for hydrogen gas. On the other hand, if you hold some damp blue litmus paper over the chlorine gas where it's being generated, it will bleach the blue litmus paper white, and that is a positive test for the presence of chlorine gas. Thanks, bye now.